Measures a central tendency attempt to describe a set of data by identifying a single value in a central position in that data. One measure of central tendency is the mean. The mean is also referred to as the average of our data set. To find the mean, we add up all the values we have, and then we divide the sum of that data by the number of values. Here we have a group of friends that surveyed as to what size shoe they wear. To find the average shoe size, we need to start by finding the total of all their shoe sizes. So that means we would need to add the 8 plus the 10 plus the 10 plus the 8 plus the 8 plus the 8 plus the 13 plus the 7 plus the 9 and plus the 4. When we add up all those values, we're going to see that they add up to a total of 85. So now to find their average shoe size, we need to divide the sum by the number of values. That means we need to take our sum of 85 and divide it by the total number of people surveyed. Well, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 people in our survey. So we need to do 85 divided by 10. When we do 85 divided by 10, that comes out to be 8.5. So that means 8.5 is our average shoe size for this group of friends. Grades are a common place where we use mean as our measure of central tendency. Let's look at two different scenarios. Both have your final average being determined by two tests and a project. In one scenario, you never turn the project in. In the other scenario, you turn it in late and don't do a very good job on it. How is that going to affect your class average? Well, in our first scenario, to find our average, we would add 90 plus 92 plus 0. So that would mean we have a total of 182. So when we go to find your average, we would have 182 but it would still be divided by 3, even though there isn't a grade for that project that's still one of our data points, that's 0. So 182 divided by 3. 3 goes into 18, 6 times, minus 18 bring down my 2. 3 doesn't go into 2, so there's a 0. We still have 2, so we add a decimal point, decimal point, 0, and keep dividing. 3 goes into 20, 6 times, minus 18, which is again is a 2, so we're going to have a repeating decimal. 60.6 .6 repeating rounds off to about a final average of a 61. Now in the second scenario where you turned it in late to find the average, we would have 90 plus 92 plus 60. That would add up to a total of 242. So when we go to divide, we would now have 242 points divided by 3. Test 1, test 2, and our project. 3 goes into 24 8 times, so there's none left over, bring down my 2. 3 doesn't go into 2, so there's a 0. So we still have 2, decimal point, decimal point, 0, 3 goes into 20, 6 times when we subtract, that's still 2, so we're going to have a repeating decimal, 80.6 repeating, it's going to round off to 81. So going ahead and turning our project in late, even though we didn't do a very good job on it, means there's a 20 point difference in the average of our grades. Check out the other videos in our playlist and don't forget to click on subscribe. Thanks for watching!